everyone. So today is um September first. I was about to say August. It's September first. And exactly one month ago on August first I started my Project Ten Pan. Um so yeah, this video is going to be an update and show you what all how my project is going. So in this little tub, like last week, so let's get started on telling you how I went with this month. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is this. Um, I maybe used it twice. I'm not really into um, blow drying my hair or straightening my hair anymore. Um, I'm trying to go, like, I'm trying to make this hair good. So I'm like, I'm not going to say I want to stop for good. It's just not on my top priority list right now. And plus, I work at 4 o'clock in the morning and get off at like 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's not like I need to do my hair for anything. So I just like take a shower and put it up in a ponytail. And that's my work day. So I use it maybe twice. It's still, it's still pretty cool. Um... This, my dry shampoo, I think I may have used it twice. Um, yeah, I haven't really touched this at all, except for those two times. Like I said, I don't really style my hair. I either just leave it down like this when I'm at home, or if I'm at work, I keep it in a ponytail. So, there's that. I have to get rid of this, though. I have like four other ones. So, there's that. Um, let's get out, let's, since I've been negative so far, let's start with this. So, this is the Ula Hendrickson Express the Truth, uh, like night cream. And last week, well not last week, last month, I was pretty, I was almost done with it. And this month, it is entirely gone. There's nothing left in here. I'm excited to get rid of this. Um, it was expiring soon too. Like, it expired next month. So I'm very glad I got rid of this. And now, I started on a new night cream, and I can't throw this away. So, I'm excited about that. Um, the next thing is the Nourishing Coconut Milk from Organics. Um, I kind of put a line last week. I was right underneath it. And this week, not, why do I keep saying last week? Last month. Um, I don't know how much I am now, but it's pretty much the same. Um, I think I'm right here now, but it takes forever to use because it's so thick and you only need like four pumps for my entire hair. So, I, I do... I have been using this a lot more than I ever had in my life, I think, um, this past month. But I am using it, and it is still the only hair product I use after shower and shampoo and stuff like that. So there's that. The next thing, um, I talked about this Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion. And this, I think, I was using it really good for the first week or two. Um, oh, it just started raining. Um, but anyway, it is so dry. Well, you can kind of hear. There's like a little bit left in it. Um, and it's, it's starting to get really dried up, but I, I use it really like almost every day for the, for like the first two weeks. And then I just forgot to use it. I don't know what to say. Forgot to use it. But there's that. The next thing is the L'Oreal Decrease um, yeah, eye primer. Um, this is so dry, like you can barely get anything on the thing, so you have to go like this. And then it kind of like gets all weird on the actual wand. Because like there's no stopper in it, so it doesn't stop. I don't know, it gets all the extra on it. Um, 
but it's pretty much almost done. I'm going to keep using this um, every time I remember, but I haven't used any other eye cream, um, eye primers except this one, so that's pretty good. The next thing is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto that I was trying to get rid of. So the funny thing is, um, okay, so it's really embarrassing, but I got a cup of chocolate milk and drank like three-fourths of it and forgot to take it out of my room. So it curdled and it went sour and yeah, you know what like bad milk looks like. And this was on my floor and I had spilt the milk on my floor and it spilt all over this mascara. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw this away now because it doesn't seem like the milk got actually in here, but still I don't want to chance it. And it's still kind of good though. But I don't want to chance it. I don't want like moldy milk in my eyes. So this is officially going to be thrown away. The next thing is this That Gal Beaming what did I say? Brightening Face Primer from Benefit. Um, I think I used it twice, two or three times. I usually, I really don't wear makeup because when I go to work, it's at 4 o'clock in the morning and who needs to see me at 4 o'clock in the morning? But I'm squeezing it and it doesn't start to come out. See, I'm touching all the way to the middle. So it's actually, it's it's getting there, see? Um, it's getting there. It's getting to the very end. So I'm excited to get rid of this. And this is like the only primer I've ever used. I've used others, but this is the only primer that I've actually been kind of religious about because I just haven't found a primer I like, so I don't really use the ones I have. But anyway, there's that. And the next two things, two more items. Um, this Shiseido Benefits Concentrated Eye Cream. Um, last month, it, I still had about a, li a few uses out of it left. Uh, so, luckily this month, it is all gone. All of it, whoops, all of it is gone. So, I'm excited about that. Um, it was an okay cream. I really didn't notice any difference in my eye. I've had this for about a year. It's just, it's so thick and concentrated that you really don't need a lot. Um, I actually did kind of look into repurchase this, but it was like $50, I think, and I really don't need a $50 eye cream at this point in my life, so I do not think I would ever repurchase this. The very last thing in my Project Tin Pan was this Corel Ultra Healing, Ultra Healing Lotion. So I made a mark, um, last week, last month, I was at this line right here, and today, I am officially done with it. It is all gone. All gone. So I'm excited. I don't think I've ever finished a lotion, like, before this and the next one I'm about to show you, but... I've never finished a thing of lotion before in my life. I'm just, I'm that. Like, I can't stick to a lotion for a point in time. So, squeezing it all the way, nothing is coming out. So this is all gone. I'm so happy that I finished this up. Um, it was also, it was like nothing. Like, I didn't notice a difference in my skin. It was kind of greasy. It didn't really smell good. Like it had the. It says it's unscented, but you can tell it has a scent to it. But this one, it was just like, it was just an okay lotion. I don't think I'd ever repurchase this one again. That is my Project Ten Pan update. Um, yeah, here it is. So the next few things I'm going to show you are my empties, the stuff that I have used up. This past month, that wasn't in my t project tin pan. And I have a drawer, actually. I have a drawer full of stuff. So, 
yeah. Um, some of the stuff is the actual full size items. Um, some of them are like foil packets, but I know not like not everybody likes when people include foil packets. But I am including them because I have a crap ton of foil sample packets. So, and it means I'm using something up, so I'm just going to add it anyway. So, the first thing is this Herbal Essences Shampoo. It's in like a little trial size. I've had this forever. I mean, forever. I have all this stuff forever. So, I'm glad I got rid of some stuff. But, all done. Um, I didn't really notice a difference with or without this in my hair so I don't think I'd ever repurchase this. This one is a travel size lotion and this is the St. Ives Renewing Collagen Elast Elastin Lotion. Um, I've had this forever. I really have and I was really excited to use this one up too. Um, oops. Even though it's sample size, um, I would use it all over my body after I got out of the shower so that's how I use it up really fast. Just a little bit going out. But, yeah, excited to get rid of that. I've had this forever, too. Another sample, like, it's actually a foil packet, but it's Ahava Mineral Botanic Velvet Body Lotion. This actually took me forever. It took uh, two whole bodies. Like, I would take a shower and put this all over my body. And it took me two times of that to get rid of this. So, this lotion went a long way. Um, it smelled okay. I didn't really notice anything for my skin, um, so I don't think I'd repurchase that. The next thing is this MAC Fix Plus um, bottle. It was okay. I mean, I did use it quite a bit because I wanted to get rid of it, but would I repurchase it? No, because I can just use water. Like, I really just think it's water. Um, but anyway, there's that. Next one is Ula Henriksen Visual Proof Eye Cream. Used up a file, um, a foil packet of that. So, that was nice. It smells really bad though, so I don't think I'd repurchase that. I used up is a Aveeno Norton Moisturize Shampoo and Conditioner in the little foil packet. I really do like this shampoo and conditioner. It makes my hair so soft so and I have at least five more of these packets so I'm going to use that would I buy it no only because I'm cheap and I have shampoo already but if money was not an option and I needed shampoo I would definitely buy this foil packet is from philosophy and it's in amazing grace um, like their shower gel um it was okay I don't like the smell of it oh it's like total old lady like if you want to smell like an old lady get amazing grace it's 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 so bad but it was okay it was a body it was a shower gel so didn't really say much about l'oreal magic lumi light infusing primer i really did um notice that it was light like light infusing but it was kind of like too much light, like you had oily skin, so I don't, I did not like that really. This thing is makeup, um, and it is, I don't even know what brand it is, because it's so old and nothing is working on there anymore, but it's an eyeliner, um, and there is this thing, it is completely done. I'm surprised I used this up, like, I think I've only used up this one and another one in my entire life, so. Glad I used that up. The next thing is a full size Garnier Fruit Teeth Fortifying Shampoo. Um, uh, it's like the squeak and shine one, but I really didn't notice anything different with my hair. Um, it's more shiny, not really, and sleeker, no. Um, it smelled okay. Like it has the classic herbal scent, um, but. This is okay. I don't think I'd ever repurchase this again, only because it didn't do anything for my hair. So the next one is going to be another Curel lotion, and this was in a bigger size too. But this was in my Project Ten Pan, and this is the one I finished up. So it's much bigger. Um, and this one's just for sensitive skin. Um, once again, it's Curel lotion. Um, 
nothing amazing for my skin. It didn't, you know, break me out. So I can't say I didn't like it. Um, but I, I, I would never purchase it again, only because I have other lotions and it's really didn't do anything for my skin. Next thing is the Dove Cream Oil Body Wash. Um, it's an elegant luxury, I guess that's the scent. It really does smell good. Like, you have to, like, kind of smell like warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works, actually. But you have to like those kind of scents. Um, this one, oh my gosh, it is so thick and so creamy. It doesn't lather up at all. And it's like, it's so, like, greasy, it's not even funny. This took me forever to use, only because it's so thick and creamy. Um, would I ever buy it again? Absolutely not. Um, I really, this is like probably the worst body wash or shower gel. Yeah, body wash that I've ever used. It's just so creamy and thick that you couldn't really do anything with it. So, glad this is gone. And the last two items that I finished up this month are pocket bags from Bath and Body Works. And they are in Honey Pretzel. So, and these, I really love this scent a lot. I would put it on at work all the time and they would say, oh, it's the cookie girl. Because, like, sugar cookies, honey pretzels. I don't really get any pretzels, but I really like this scent. I still have, I think, like, five more of these because I, I got them at the stash for only, like, 34 cents. That is all of my empties. I can finally throw all that stuff away. Thank you guys for watching my Project 10 Pan video. Um, it was really fun using up all this stuff. I really needed to. And it's kind of liberating when you use up so many products that I just want to keep using up more. So can't wait for this month and see how many things I can use up then. But go ahead and comment below if you've used any of the stuff that I've, that I've used. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Um, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So, see you in my next video. Bye.